Okay. Hi. <clears throat> I uh, just right quick wanted to finish my conversation, or whatever you call it, right quick. Uh, I didn't actually finish my story. I forgot. This I started off telling you about uh, my my bi friend's gay coworker at Blockbuster. We got into a discussion about um, we debate really about black people and gay people being the same or whatever, which is exactly the same conversation that. Uh, or debate that was being had on MSNBC today uh, with Michael Steele and some random generic guy. <coughs> um, he was white, but he wasn't gay. Um, the guy that I spoke with, though, he was white and gay. Um, and he actually wound up, um, because I didn't see his point of view, he actually wound up putting his hands on me and shaking me and shoving me out of the store. Um, this was at night, and we were the uh, the three of us were the only ones in the store, so that's how he got away with it. But of course, I, he got fired for that. But um, of course, you don't play with that. No. I mean, I I knew not to to fight back because then I would wind up being questioned for some kind of you know, you know how that works. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, but that that's not the issue. Um, and I'm not, I know that not all gay people are like that or whatever. Um, but um, but I did not. The reason I wanted to bring it up is because my bi friend, uh, who he says he's gay, uh, but he he is actually bi. Um, he reminded me of the thing that I didn't finish talking about in the previous uh, uh, video, which is another difference between um, gay people and people of ethnicity or color, is that some gay people were not born gay. Okay, I mean, think of it how many way, however way you want to think of it, but my friend bi, gay, whatever he wants to call himself, he was not gay or bi until he was sexually assaulted by his uncle when he was younger, okay? And majority, I'm not saying all, but the majority of gay people that I've befriended or bi people that I've befriended, turns out, I find out later on in conversations with them, that they had some type of negative sexual experience in their life, um, whether they were young or whether it was rape or whether it was whatever, uh, you know, on some of them it was just experimentation. But my point is, be there's a lot of differences between <laughs> gays and blacks and that why they're not the same thing and, and gays and people of color or ethnicity. Numerically, I told you the differences, numerical, biological, moral, historical, psychological, numerical meaning, you know, they're point, like less than 0.01% of population or something like that, whereas ethnic people are like the majority of the world. And um, biological, meaning that two men and two women can't have babies, but, you know, a black person, a black man and a white woman or whatever combination of races can have kids, uh, typically speaking. Moral, because in the Bible, uh, homosexuality is considered a blasphemous uh, sin, and in other religious doctrines it's also considered sinful, uh, whereas interracial uh, connections are not. And uh, historical, meaning in America, blacks were enslaved for 250 years, Asians were persecuted um, collectively uh, as entire groups of people, uh, like on the railroad tracks, they were blown up and stuff by, uh, by white people and Japanese, and, and um, I know Hispanics have gone through some stuff here in recent times and stuff, and there's just been, you know, even the Irish, the Irish and Italians, even they were like collectively persecuted in groups by, um, not to the same degree of, of people with color, like obvious color in their skin, but in other words, my point is that, uh, you know, there's, there's those differences. And, uh, but the thing that I forgot to bring up in the previous video was the psychological difference of, you know, the, you're not going to find a black person who or any ethnic person, colored person, who's going to be like, well, I turned black after I was assaulted by someone, or I turned black or Hispanic or Asian after um, I experimented with it in college. I mean, it's just, just it's just another example of why they're not the same thing. I shouldn't even have to go into this. I thought it was sort of an obvious thing that they're not the same. <laughs> but, but but apparently certain uh, white liberal people tend to think they are the same, um, especially white liberal males. 
Um, so I just had to say that. And I, I also wanted to just end with, um, <clears throat> I don't know this to be a necessary thing for me to be, to, to say, but I feel compelled to say it by a certain, uh, suspicion, which I could be wrong, but I just want to get this out there. It is great to defend someone who, anyone who's being, uh, uh, hurt or, or, or attacked or, or mistreated based solely on, um, the fact that they're different from somebody, you know, and, and if you want to go to a gay parade or stand up for what you consider gay rights or whatever, you know, that's, that's completely fine, your prerogative. However, please keep in mind, dear lovable white liberals, that standing up for gay people will never, ever make up for those 250 years of slavery, for all the hatred and all the brutality and all the horrible, horrible acts that certain lighter uh, colored individuals of that special race in this country and abroad have done to people of all kinds of groups that are different from them. So you can do all you want to do when it comes to gay people, but if you're only doing it because subconsciously you're trying to vindicate your ancestors or, or what is considered your ancestors for what they have done to uh, innocent people of different groups in this country and abroad, it's not going to make up for that because it has nothing to do with that. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I hate to burst your bubble if that's where you're coming from. Um, because sometimes I get the feeling that that's where people are coming from sometimes. And I, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong, but sometimes I get that feeling. So I just want to also let you know that what you're doing is what you're doing. And that's great. Okay. I mean, if, 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 you know, if you're helping someone in a way that they need to be helped, that's good. Okay, but it's not going to have anything to do with or make up for any of the crap done to my race or anybody else's race or to women or to um, anybody who's considered different from the, uh, you know, rich white males that, <laughs> that have run the country for so long. Okay, and I know that not all rich white males are the same or like that. Not all people of any demographic are the same. I'm just simply saying, uh, you know, think of it uh, as you will, do as you want, um, you know, I'm not telling you how to, how to feel about gay issues, okay, I have my own uh, uh, perspectives on, on different things, um, you know, and, and, you know, I believe in loving people unconditionally, whether or not you agree with things that they, they do or, or identify with, but the point of the matter that I'm trying to make is, uh, it's not going to have anything to do with that, it's not going to make up for it. So if, if that's what you are in the back of your mind feeling, let me go to a, let me go to a gay parade because it's going to make up for slavery. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me fight for gay marriage because it's going to, it's going to make up for, uh, for, uh, all the lynchings or all the, you know, blowing up Asian people at the railroad or stealing this country from the Indians. No, it's not going to make up for it. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to be sound mean. I'm not trying to sound mean. I'm just being honest with you. It has nothing to, one has nothing to do with the other, okay? If you want to do one, that's fine, okay? Whether people will agree with you or the people don't agree with you, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's not going to have anything to do with this thing over here, though. So I just, I, <laughs> I had to look, put that out there. And I also, I just want to say that uh, homosexuality is something that uh, I feel that this entire society, on both sides of the spectrum on the issue, have completely glossed over. And they don't deal with it at all. I have gay friends who go through so many different things, um, whether they chose to be it or whether they were born it. And there's so many things that go into their, their psychology. And, and it's just, the issue is never actually dealt with on a real level. It's always glossed over in a very superficial way where it's like either people are, who are for it go to a gay parade and they're just like, yeah, gay rights, woo! Or people who are against it are just like, no, gay people, no. And it's just like, you're both idiots, both of you. Because you're not actually looking at the issue in any kind of in deep, uh, smart, intellectual, emotional, psychological, uh, spiritual, uh, scientific way. You're not looking at it in any kind of deep way. You are looking at it on the surface and you're just treating it like a political football on both sides. And so I don't really have much respect for people on either side uh, who, are, who, are, who are really outspoken on, I, on either side. Some, some people are more articulate than others, and I, I have more respect for them. But I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, the issue itself needs to be dealt with more uh, intelligently by both sides, and uh, that's just another difference between the two things. Okay, that's all I have.
I know my videos are long, I'm sorry, but thank you and have a good night. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>